Hey, what's going on guys? It's Cliff with Pink Flamingo Power Wash. I'm back with a brand new video for you guys. Today we're working in South Tampa, Florida. We're gonna be doing a travertine um, paver ceiling. I don't think you guys have, um, oh, I'm stuck. <laughs> uh, I don't think you guys have seen me do a travertine deck before on camera. So I'm gonna um, demonstrate that today, man. I got a nice deck. Most of it was just put in. Uh, there are some uh, old pavers that we're just gonna clean and seal anyway. But um, majority, of it, majority of it was just put in. I got this lead here through one of my subscribers that see my videos and um, called me out to get this done. So I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. So this is the new part that was just put in. They're not sealed. Uh, I will not be sanding these. I'll just be cleaning and sanding them. You see there's a lot of tanning stains on there that we're gonna have to pre-treat and um, clean up. We may not have to use the surface cleaner. Um, probably gonna put it like a 5% mix on here. Maybe a 6% and just soft wash the pavers. These are the older pavers. See how it's got some big gaps back here i guess the tree roots are lifting the pavers up so you see all these pavers they just set all the way off man like over here is all jagged look at that but this is the older part of the pavers let me put this uh blower down i'm gonna have to blow uh all these leaves off before i start um Like they're building a new houses over there too but uh yeah so all this right here got to be cleaned up see how bad it looks pretty dirty and then over here is the new part on this side from here and on see a big difference it's also going to stand out when i seal them too this is like tanning stains look pretty bad man and then this is another identical side, just like the other uh, the other uh, side of the house. We're gonna blow all these leaves off. Uh, apply the six percent, let it dwell for about ten minutes, and rinse it off. I gotta move all this stuff out the way. Oh yeah, if you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment if you got any questions, and um, make sure you leave a like, man. Free, it's free. Everybody, give me a thumbs up, man. I appreciate it. So I'm gonna grab my soft wash gun. I only have 200 feet, so it looks like I'm only gonna be able to reach right here where I'm standing. And then this little piece right here that goes that way. I'm just gonna clean that and go on the other way. All right, let's go. Okay, now we got everything blown off the pavers. We can now apply our um, SH. See all this stuff here? All that algae build up. Gotta get cleaned up. Let's see back here. I can only spray up to about over here because my 200 feet only reach up to here. So I'll double back around and get the other side. 
Uh, let's go. Like I said, I'm gonna be spraying a 6% mix of SH and water. SH is chlorine. If you guys didn't know. Soaking them up pretty well. And I'm gonna um, give it a good rinse to get all the stuff off of it. I could surface clean it, but since these were just put in not too long ago, I don't wanna disturb the sand and kick the sand up on these ones right here. So we gonna give it a rinse with the gun or the ball valve, whichever. With that 6%, um, it's gonna get it cleaned up because travertine is not porous. Like uh, like regular pavers, it's a hard stone, so it's easy to clean. The algae can't really, uh, I'm saying, latch on too deep in the in the pavers. See all these spots right here, like right here. By the time I come back here, they might be all the way gone. I won't have to put no pressure or anything on it. But then hit the bottom of this wall form too while I'm here. Just to clean this up. Travertine is much easier to prep. <laughs> than regular pavers. Even if I had I had to put sand on here, it wouldn't be a ridic ridiculous amount of sand like regular pavers, man. This is nice and smooth. Push it in. It doesn't even take that much. The process to seal is a little different. It's actually different than uh, regular pavers, though. Instead of um, just spraying on two two coats, hitting you know them, say a heavy coat then a light coat. This one you you gotta use a uh, like a Swift Jet mop to um, to uh, seal these with. I'll show you guys when I get to that to that section. Pretty cool process. I've been hearing SH been going up everywhere, man. One of my spots I go to um, went up to $3.10. I used to get it for like, at that specific one, I used to get it for like two, two, two fifty, or two or two fifty, something like that. They going up. My regular spot still good though. I'm only paying one ninety. At my regular spot, so but I hear it's going up everywhere. Let me know how much you guys are paying for SH now. Okay, so now we got the travertine spray with the SH. Like I said, we're gonna let it dwell and sit, do its thing, cut all the algae, mold, mildew, whatever is present before we do the next step of um, rinsing it off. See those type of pavers, it's a whole different service um, process to seal those. Let's go, on, let's go on and show you guys the spot where I started spraying on the other, the other way. It's not too hot out here, so everything's still wet. Got a bad shadow, bad glare. Show you guys what it looks like now. See how it looks much better. Look at that. Nice and clean. We just gotta rinse it up. Man, we're gonna let it do it a little bit more. Over here, there was a bunch of tanning stain spots over here that all disappeared. 
you can see the different color travertine when you seal them man it just looks awesome with the contrast between the lighter and the darker colors but you guys can see everything is coming out pretty well like i say i couldn't reach over here i gotta go on the other side of the house flip back around and hit that so we're gonna let that dwell a little bit longer um right now it's noon we're gonna let that sit give it a good 10 minutes may touch up a few spots and then um come back with a good rinse man i'll see y'all on the rinse cycle Okay guys, second step is done. All the papers are cleaned up. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. All right, so this is the side, the newer, the newer uh, travertine. Side, left side of the house. This is the back side. You can actually see the contrast. Still wet right now, obviously I'm not doing the ceiling today. Travertine takes a long time to dry. Uh, last time I did one, man, I had a speed dry it. I was out here with a microfiber towel under my feet, <laughs> trying to speed the drying process up. And you can see this house is shaded, so there's gonna, not gonna be no sun. So this one here, I had to uh, go ahead and clean it up and get it ready for tomorrow. I'm gonna come in the morning and um, do the ceiling. This is the other side right here. Everything is spotless. You know, you gotta deal with the leaves falling on there because you know, it's not a pool cage, so. It is what it is, man. That's why I need me to get me a little small, little blower. I got one actually. I got a battery one. I don't know if it works still. Something quick, you know what I'm saying? That you can just fim, 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 get it out of there, you know what I'm saying? You don't have to fight a big backpack. So a little handheld hell handheld one is better. But yeah, man, this came out great, man. Look at this. All the tanning stains that were there around this area, all gone. Looks like it's sealed already, right? <laughs> but nah, we're gonna come back tomorrow and um apply the sealer. I'll see you guys in the morning. All right, this is what we're gonna be using to get these um, travertine paper seal. Uh, paper seal. We're gonna be using the Travacast from Deco Products. This is what we're using here. Some before and after pictures of their work. I got about two and a half gallons in here. I do have another one. I don't think it's gonna this right here gonna take care of the whole job so yeah that's the product we're using for uh, travertine travacast is the product if you're using uh, for regular pavers you know you guys you guys know I use the silicast so this is the product we use for travertine all right I'll put it in my pump up and uh, with this job here we gotta use the Swifter just, I'm saying, back roll it. You don't push forward, you roll back. If you push forward, you're gonna pick up the product. When I get back there, I'll show you guys. So, to, so today I'm working with Breck. He's giving me a hand. He's already started blowing all this uh, leaves off. You guys know I cleaned this up yesterday. So Breck is um, blowing up over there. You got a handheld blower. I told you guys it's easier to use one of those.
right, so now we got all the leaves off. I'm pretty sure some more will fall. <laughs> so it's good to have two people, man, when you do this kind of jobs and you're outside, you know, you're gonna have leaves fall over the place, man. So like I said, I'm working with Breck today. How you doing, Breck? Hey, how's it going? Welcome to the channel, man. Awesome, thank you. You guys are asking me, that's the man right here, man, Deco Products, man. So Dude, if you I need product, this is what I'm gonna send you too, and he's gonna tell you which distributor is close to you. So we got all the leaves off now? We're, we're done, we're done. I mean, what's gonna fall? I'm just gonna have to pick up on the way, right? Exactly, it's called the prep guy. There you go, <laughs> you gotta have that prep guy. You gotta have the prep guy. <laughs> I tried it this time. So before we started, what we did, we put some of the product on the microfiber and uh, just to make it absorb so it's not dry when we start pulling. And like I said, you gotta pull back, don't push forward because you're gonna be uh, pushing the product. We got the short sticks of working in a short section, about four feet at a time instead of spraying so much and we can't reach it. So. The other nice thing about it is that you don't have to get all the way to the edge with the product because what you have built up in the mop is still it's still on there. A good example of that can be right over here. And over here, um, we're gonna turn it sideways to get the corners. What are those things? Lights? Those are uh, pods. What are those? These are here? Yeah. That looks like a solar. Solar? Yeah, it probably okay. has some lights back here. Yeah, that's what I felt. Yeah, because you had a couple of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I soft washed it yesterday. I didn't even use a surface cleaner. Didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, because I, did, I didn't want to hit know, those things. You did that in your room, you probably replaced <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, I didn't want to exactly. <laughs> risk it. Yeah. There you go. All right. Spray a little bit more. So I tried to give us a nice, kind of a straight line. Here, right. Which just allows you for more product and then overlap, of course. Overlap always. a little bit. two hands you push down and then you're just absorbing more into the into the mop and you're taking it off of the, the top so gotcha. it's not giving it it will look dull there which means then you have to come back and give it a little bit more and then if you find out that your your, your uh, mop starts to kind of pull up a little bit that means you, you need more product Okay. On the um, on the substrate, you want them to be gliding the whole time. That's right. You can spin it around too sometimes, but it's still an indicator that you need to put more down. If you don't put enough down, you'll have certain areas that will be more shiny, and certain areas that will absorb more into the into the travertine. Okay. In this case, and then that'll be a little duller. So if that happens just before you leave for the job. Just come back and. Just take a look. You can walk with your socks or booties, right? And then uh, be able to um, see if you need to put more down. In the now, those pots, would you have to um, do it with the mop, or you can just sprinkle some on top? You know, it depends on how big the area is. Um, okay. If you were to do it from a, the mop, is probably the best way to go. Okay. But if you were to actually put it out like this, like if this right here is a novel, mm -hmm. you can just kind of go like this with it up high. So we'll broadcast down, and sometimes that will fill in what you need, which keeps you from also having to walk everywhere. That fishtail makes a big difference. Push 
show you guys what we're doing here. You can see what it's looking like over here compared to that. guys this area it's the one we just sprayed you guys can see the difference man right now we're doing around the pool coping we're gonna come around this side here wrap around knock all this out head that way go out the other gate good thing is they got two gates so it's perfect Okay guys, everything is sealed up. See how the pavers look, man. They look really good. Let's go around the backside and show you guys. I'm gonna do the second coat, which is just like a fish tail, man. Like you're basically doing a light mist on top. I'm gonna put some more product on the microfiber right here and just hit any spots. Cause sometimes you have like streaks. Those streaks, you just put a little bit more on your microfiber and just go over it and it, it'll blend those in. All right, let's go on the back. All right, so this is what we're looking like now. You guys can see a major difference. See that reflection? I'm walking in my socks. I don't want to trail any dirt. But I don't know if you guys can see it on camera. Like you can see where you, when you swipe, sometimes you may miss, like this area was missed. So I'm gonna have to spray that area again or hit it with the microfiber and when you stand at a certain angle as you can see a couple of little streaks over here i just gotta touch that up nothing major um you can either spray it on top and then you know what i'm saying use the microfiber to pull it like we've been doing or you can just spray it on the microfiber and just go over those spots dealing with these leaves is annoying i just had to blow everything off again but that's part of the game, man. So let's get it. And 
all you're doing on the second the second one is just you know just touching up where you may have missed on uh, some spots I can see all the spots. When you stand at, stand at an angle, you can see all the spots that you, you miss. And if your microfiber starts sticking on you, you just, just flip it. Seems like it works for, works a little bit better. And just step back. All right, let's fill it in. Over here. It's good, good to have two people when you're working on travertine because then you can. You know what I'm saying? Have a second eye. Tell you when you miss a spot. Alright, that's good. This thing looking good, man. All finished, guys. Let's see what everything looks like. Like glass. <laughs> Can't beat that, man. Look at that shine. Good shine. Um, took a little bit because you know what I'm saying. The process is different. Well, uh, we started about ten. Let me see what time it is right now. It's uh, if I can see, one eighteen. Started about ten o'clock. Um, and yesterday when I cleaned it, it took about, I think it took me about an hour. I soft washed it, but man, look at that. Show you guys this side here. This side is drying up a little bit more because that's where I walked out of. And I did the little light coat on top. But man, look at that shine off those papers. pretty good man remember this side or the pavers were the old pavers they didn't want them stripped I mean God this is looking good uh, they didn't want them stripped they just wanted to reseal them but well, you can't beat this this is the new side see a big difference if you guys rewind back and look at the beginning stages when I first got here, how I looked to now, it's a major difference. With that said, I would say this is a job well done. Job well done, man. Can't beat that. First one I did for you guys on the video, shout out to Breck from Deco Products came through and gave me a hand, speed everything up. Uh, he was able to do the first coat with me. Then he had to take off. But yeah, everything came out great. All right, you guys, man, I appreciate y'all checking the video out. If you enjoy the content of me doing the paper ceiling, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Um, share the video. Um, one of my most watched videos it's a paper ceiling video so hopefully this one will be the same way with it you know what i'm saying so you guys share it all right guys i'm gonna catch y'all in the next one peace